Hi, welcome back. So now we will begin by modeling our genetic algorithm. In order to do that, we have to first identify how we're going to um, apply the genetic algorithm to our particular problem. So for us, we have what we have, a solution really comprises of, for the genetic, for the traveling salesman problem, a solution comprises of a, a particular traversal of this uh, collection of cities, right? And um, really the fitness of that solution is measured by the distance uh, that needs to be traversed. And really a shorter distance is uh, more fit than a longer distance, right? Um, so the first metaphor that I'm going to introduce is the concept of the gene, right? We're gonna model an individual city and we're going to call that a gene right and really it's just an xy coordinate it's on a cartesian coordinate plane um, and what we're going to see is first we model the gene then we will model a chromosome which is a particular ordering of that list of genes and then we're going to create a population of chromosomes that we're going to do some operations on all right, so what I want you to focus on right now is just the modeling aspect of it. We're going to model up a chromosome, and a chromosome is just a, like a list or a set of genes. Um, and for us, a gene is just defined as one of these coordinates, which is, just has an X and a Y. Okay, so we're going to call ours the TSP gene. Okay, and this is really simple. This is going to be such a simple, almost like a boilerplate class. Private final in x, private final in y, TSP gene, and we're going to say final in x, final in y, this dot x equals oh, x, this dot y equals y. And we're going to say, let's first define the two-string method. OK, we're going to say return that followed by this dot x, followed by comma, followed by this dot y, followed by a closing paren. That's it, real simple. OK. Uh, get x and get y and we're going to generate refactor and we're going to generate the hash code and equals methods for this. IDE will just take care of it for us. Created these equal and hash code methods. Um, we're going to see that we're going to need that later. And finally, what I want to introduce on this class is this method called distance. And you're going to give it another g. And we're going to measure the distance using the distance formula. Recall that the distance formula is just the square root of uh, x squared plus the square root of y squared. Uh, or I should say the square root of x squared plus y squared, right? Uh, very simple. That, that, that's just the uh, distance formula to, to, to calculate the distance between any two given points on a coordinate plane, right? Uh, should be review for us. SQRT of how of get x minus other dot get x or get x. Huh and two and we're going to say plus pow of get y minus other dot get y two and we're gonna, now it's saying it doesn't know what these methods are and we're going to solve that problem by doing the static imports and that should solve that problem so now, I believe that's it for, for this class. I think this class is actually complete. I'm not even going to revisit this. It was so simple. 
So um, in the next video, we're going to um, look at modeling a chromosome. Okay, so please do make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.